People keep asking me how I do these little videos in what I call my studio, this little room that I've set up as a video studio. You know, clearly lots of videos I do are just on my iPhone like I'm doing right now. But when I film with the legit camera and do longer form videos, you know, what are the steps I take and, and what is the process and what does the room look like? Those are questions I, I keep getting, so I just thought I'd share with you. I'm gonna turn the camera around and just give you a little tour of this tiny little room and show you the setup. So first of all, uh, here is the background that you're all familiar with. There's my really cool Go Giver coffee mug. Um, but this is just an adhesive wallpaper. Um, and you can see the lighting is really bad. It's just office lighting. I'll talk about that again in a minute. But the most important thing for any video is actually good sound. And so um, my husband is a lot more technical than I am and he helped me set up this room. Um, so these are sound, acoustic uh, sound boards. You can see they're kind of thick. Um, and so these are acoustic and they absorb sound and make the sound much better in here. This piece of art even is acoustic. And then another sound board down there. And then on the other side, more sound boards. So sound is important. The second piece is a really great microphone. This is the Shure microphone. And it is a podcast level microphone. You can actually, it's kind of fun. You can put your mouth really close to this and start sounding like uh, a radio DJ, or at least I like to pretend like I sound like a radio DJ. If I want the mic to be out of camera range though, I can also adjust this boom so that the microphone is just out of camera range. So then the microphone gets hooked up to this mic activator here, and the mic activator gets hooked up to this mixer. If I'm doing a Zoom call like I just was, I simply plug this whole setup in to my uh, MacBook and it works perfectly um, for a Zoom call. So that's pretty cool. So then the other pieces that you'll see here are um, some lighting pieces. Lighting for the side, lighting for the front. This is diffused lighting so it's not harsh. Lighting here and then also lighting here. This actually lights up the back wall. So um, I'm going to show you the lighting here. Obviously, one other really important piece, uh, and you can see it's just a total mess from behind the scenes. Welcome to the truth behind the scenes. Uh, and then, um, you know, I film on this little camera, and when I say I film, I mean basically my husband uh, films. But it's a Sony, and uh, it does some stuff, and I don't really understand what. So, um, and then this is obviously the tripod, but, um, you know, I don't know a whole lot about how this thing works. I just turn it on and smile. Um, I do have a um, teleprompter set up for this as well for when I need it. So there's that. Um, but just to give you an idea, turn on some lights here. Turn off the lights here. So I turn off the overhead light. And if I'm going to film, I turn on these lights. You can see it's starting to light up back there. Then I turn on the side light. See it lights up even more. And another light, another side light. Now it's nice and lit, if you will. But what happens is the shadows happen here underneath. And, and then you can see the shadow on the wall. So that's why we also use this light. And uh, Adrian took many hours to figure out just the right lighting because you also don't want to be over lit if you will um, but this works really well and then i am staring in reality into all of this brightness but you know uh, it's not that bad because it doesn't get hot like i used to do theater and it used to have um super hot stage from from the uh stage lights this isn't like that these are just cool lights so um it's kind of funny psychologically i feel like maybe I'm getting hot, but it's just the heat of the moment of being on camera. So that's the truth. Oh, and then the most important part, some notes. I'm always gonna have some notes because I don't have a great memory. So I always gotta remember what it is I'm trying to talk about. So if I don't have things in the teleprompter, then I just have some basic outline of what I wanna say, when I wanna say it. 
so that I can make sure I deliver uh, on the promise of giving the best possible coaching I can. So anyway, that's the room, that's the studio, that's the behind the scenes.